Hey everybody, welcome back. This is another video for my critical thinking. Uh, I like to know how a person thinks. We all have different ways of thinking, probably from our environment, our education. So it would, it's, to me it's always interesting to know what you would do in a certain situation. This here is called the incriminating email. Okay? And again, once you hear it, please post your comments below in the comments section of what you would do. So other people, it's always fun. I think it's great when you get into a group of people and they know just how their friends, new friends, old friends, how they think in certain situations. What would they do? Well, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and read this one for you. You are a network administrator for a rather large company. You have a young family and you need your job to support them, okay? Part of your responsibility for your job as a network administrator is to monitor the emails for the organization. So you're kind of like the gateway. The email comes to you, you either let it pass through to that person or you stop it. You're trying to control spam. So usually this just means occasionally allowing emails for staff members that have been accidentally blocked from the spam filters. And anybody or everybody, with you're on a computer now, so everybody knows about the spam filters. Sometimes somebody sends an email and it gets sent to your spam folder, not your inbox. So your job is to check for that, and if it is actually a real email, you, you allow it to go through. So you're trying to control the spam. But one day, you get a help desk request, okay, from a staff member asking you to release an email. So this person knows the email is coming, but they, didn't, they never received it. So normally, that's a standard procedure, okay? Except this time, the request has come from the wife of a very good friend of yours. You recognize the name on the request, so you quickly attend to the problem. That's just being a good friend. Like, oh, oh I know this person. I'm going to go ahead and do this, take care of this one right now. As part of the procedure, now this is the procedure set by your company, so you have to do it this way. You need to manually open up the email to ensure that it isn't actually spam. So you need to read it, okay? That's just part of the procedure that your company has set. You find that it turns out to be an email from your friend's wife, from her lover. So, hmm, you scan the rest of the contents of the email and there is no doubt that she is having an affair. And she's been having an affair for quite some time now. So, you can't really say much, so you release the email, you release it, but you can't decide what to do. Hmm. Your initial reaction is to call your friend up and tell him about the email. However, and it's not very simple, I'm sure companies have a lot of rules in place to prevent such a thing from happening, as you can as privacy. However, you quickly realize that company policy is very strict because you have a very you have a very sensitive job. You're reading other people's emails, and they're strict about revealing the contents of staff emails. And if you do, you will quickly lose your job if your boss finds out. So if you tell, if you call your friend and warn your friend or tell your friend that his wife is having an affair, you're most certainly going to get fired. Now remember, you have a young family, so you have a new wife and maybe a new baby, a small child, and you have to take care of them. So you need that salary and you need the job. You want to put some years into your job in order to get um, some retirement out of it. So you can't, it's not an easy decision to make. 
In any case, you know that revealing this information presents great risk. Because even if you don't do it directly, there's a good chance that the dots will be joined somewhere along the line and you will be found out. So if your husband, if your friend slowly finds out, like, wait, okay, this, 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 this happened, this happened, my friend at the company should have known this. So you will be found out most likely by your friend. And however, you feel that by not telling your friend, you are helping his wife to get away with adultery. And this troubles you greatly. Now that's, for me personally, that's an easy, it's, this is a very easy situation because if, first of all, if the wife is having an affair, then they should have rules. That means her lover or her boyfriend should know why are you sending emails? There should be no personal contact uh, at work. Especially knowing that this situation is at work, which means the wife is not, she's not really thinking that uh, there is a possibility that the email from her lover is going to get blocked by spam and she'll need help. She'll need to call on her husband's friend to release this email. But I, I, look, I, I look at it this way that, hey, if if she's having an affair, it's really none of my business. If she is, if my friend doesn't know about this, uh, maybe there's another way for, for him to find out. If you read the email, if the email is, says something to the effect that uh, I'm free or I'm, I'm, I'm not busy on Saturday after six, let's meet at this at a certain place, maybe accidentally, on purpose, showing up with your friend and letting your friend see it with his own eyes. And if you go with him, that may actually uh, reduce the blow, which means he won't really, he probably won't take it out on you, even though you knew long before that his wife was having an affair. But you also have the thing too, does he care? Maybe he's having an affair too. So. It's really not as cut and dry as it sounds because maybe he doesn't care and they're only staying together because they have children, but they have separate lives. So although technically they're married and she is having an affair, you really don't know what he's doing. So if they're living separate lives, you haven't really done much. He might say, oh, I already know that. Or, I suspected that, but I don't care. Or does he care? So, please share with me your, your comments in the comments section below as to what you would do. Would you tell your friends, your friend, um, about his wife's uh, adultery? Or would you keep it to yourself and maybe let him find out on his own? Because uh, as in the earlier part, he, it's been going on for a while and he has no knowledge of this. So would you bring it to his attention or would you just continue on with your job? And which do you give up? Do you give up your job? Which would be probably very difficult to find a similar job or a similar job with the same salary. Or do you give up your friend? When your friend connects the dots and realizes that you had this information but refused to share it with him, it really depends on him. Maybe he doesn't want to be your friend anymore. So do you give up your friend? Which really doesn't cost you anything. Okay? So, I've kind of shared my opinion on this one, which I don't really mind. So do you agree with me? Or do you agree, or would you do something completely different? And share, how would you do it? How would you solve this problem? Okay, or this dilemma that you are now faced with. Alright, I will wait for your comments below, okay?